Hello everyone. So today I'm going to perform an experiment to determine the unknown weight of a roller. So here is the roller which is there in a pan. We require some standard weights over here. So I have 1 gram weight, 2 gram weight, 5 gram weight and all the other weights are written on it and the maximum weight that I have is 200 grams. Now the main part of this experiment is this one that is this inclined plane which has got inclination angle on it marked over here and at the end of this wooden plank I have a pulley so over a pulley I can pass the rope and I can place the weights in the pan so you can change the weight also by this one and you can also change the angle of inclination and do the experiment now let let me show you how to change the angle over here so for that I am going to open up this one and I have this a piece of wood and this piece of wood can be placed in between this and I can make the angle more bigger and bigger. So let me show you again I am going to put this in this vertical way and then I am going to lift this up and then I am going to gently slide this wooden bar under it and then if I want to increase the angle of inclination then I may I will push this wood more and more inside and as you can see that the angle of inclination is right now currently 15 degree and I can keep on increasing it by sliding this wood more and more inside right okay now this this is the roller whose weight is supposed to be found over here so I am going to gently place this thread which is connected to the roller and the other end of the roller is connected with the pen now I am supposed to measure the weight of this pen only weight of this pen without the roller so that is what you can see in the picture okay so we are good to go and just have a look at this setup I have set the angle of inclination as 20 degree and now you can see the position of the roller roller is attached to the string string passes over the pulley and the string is connected with the pan now I'm going to place some weights in the pan and now let's see if I let loose the string what's going to happen so it slides down now we are going to add the weights and we are going to stabilize it so this is the angle of inclination p1 is the weight in the pan when the roller starts moving upward p2 is the weight in the pan when the roller starts moving downward p is the weight of only pan that we had already measured that was 25 grams now this corresponding sine theta is the sine of angle which are mentioned over here now we are also going to plot the graph of this effort versus the sine theta and it would be almost a straight line and the slope of that will give us the weight okay so now after several trial and errors I have found out P1 for angle 20 degree so now here the weight in the pan is 41 degree let me show you this is 20 gram weights that is 20 gram weight and then there is one more gram weight over, over there so this is 41 gram weight in the pan now this is right now not sliding but if we tap it gently then it is going to slide upwards as you can see that it has started to slide up so this is our first observation p1 now we are going to measure the p2 weight by adding which the roller would move downwards now just look at the setup over here we have pushed the roller very near to the pulley now if we gently tap this roller is going to move down and after several trial and errors i have found out that the weight which balances over here in the second position is 23 grams now let me give it a, a gentle 
tap over here and we can see that this slider rolls down. Now let's try to understand what is the physics behind this experiment. So here is the roller and the weight of the roller is vertically downwards. This is ang angle of inclination theta. So we find out that if this angle is theta, then this angle will also be theta. If you just extend this down, you will find that this is theta, this is 90, this is 90 minus theta. So again, this would be 90 minus theta. So this angle becomes theta. So if this is W, this becomes W cos theta and W sin theta. Now, this is a string that is passing over the pulley. And finally, there is weight in the pan like this. And now this mg is the total weight of pen and the weight inside. So what is happening? The weight of empty pen is written as p in the observation table, empty pen. And now there are p1 and p2. So there is one p, then there is one p1 and then there is p2. Correct? So now if this is in resting position, everything is stationary. That means all the forces are balancing each other. Which means, since this is the string passing over the pulley, there is one tension created in the pulley and the direction of tension would be like this. That tension is referred as effort by the string. So that effort and W sin theta are equal because these two forces are equal because roller is not moving. Now, since the string remains the same, so this tension, this tension created over here and this effort RC. And since this is stationary, that means this tension N, mg are the same. So in short, E is equal to W sin theta and W sin theta is equal to tension in the string, which is equal to the total weight. This includes the weight of the pen also. So P is only the weight of the pen. Then P1 and P2, let's understand what it is. Now, here we are considering that there is no friction over here. So now what do we do is, see, we add the weights and if we tap and if it starts going up that means there is some more amount of weight which is over here and this side this mg is more than t t is equal to e and e is equal to w sin theta so mg is bit more than w sin theta that is why this roller is going up now if i start and that would be p1 so p1 is basically the total weight in the pan which due to which this roller goes upwards. So that means the total weight would be P1 and P. And since the roller is going upwards, that means this P plus P1 would be larger than W sin theta. Now, if I start removing the vein and if I wait and if I gently tap and if this goes down, this means that W sin theta now is greater than the pan's weight and the weight in the pan. And that is weight in the pan is referred as P2 when this roller goes down. So W sin theta would be larger than P plus P2, where P2 is the weight in the pen when roller goes downwards. So what do we do is, one time we make this larger, so this goes up. One time we make this smaller, so this goes up and then we find the average. That is what is being done and shown in the experiment. So now let's look at the final chapter of the experiment, that is the completed observation table. I have added two more columns over here that I'll describe you shortly. So now this is the completed observation table. I had taken the observation for angle 20. Now you people are supposed to increase the angle from 25, 30 and 35. I did that. So the whole experiment would become a lot more boring if I show you the entire thing. So on the basis of this thing, you try similarly for all the other angles. So what I've done is this is P1, P2. That was 41 and 23. Now, what did I do was effort is equal to P plus P1 plus P2 by 2. So P is the weight of the pen and sum of these, this and divide by 2 plus the weight of the pen is over here. In the same way, for 25 degree, these two are the readings, 30 degree, these two and 35 degree, these two. So I have obtained the effort. Now, the corresponding sign of this angle is shown over here. So sine 20 is shown over here, sine 25, sine 30 and sine 35. Now the formula used is W sine theta is equal to E because if you remember the theory, this formula was discussed. So E upon sine theta would be the weight of the roller. So here this is 
this is sin theta and this is e so the corresponding ratio is shown over here this divided by this over here this divided by this over here and like this over here now the average of this turns out to be 166.4 which is the weight of our roller and now as you can see in this picture that i had already measured the weight of the roller with the help of the weighing machine digital weighing machine which is displayed over here so we are very near to our experiment experimental answer is very near to the theoretical answer and our experiment was very good correct <clears throat> is the graph of in some of the uh, experiments they have also plotted the graph of e and sine theta so if you plot the graph of e on y axis and sine theta on x axis you can even take the slope and get the answer but i have not done that so hopefully guys you have understood the experiment please do like subscribe my channel and comment if you have any doubt thank you for watching the video